Hello and welcome to Foresha in Conversation, Foresha's podcast series where we give the floor to our experts. I'm Libby Wilson and today I'm talking to Nathalie Saint-Martin, Purchasing Vice President for Foresha, about our suppliers and their role in Foresha's total customer satisfaction, innovation and sustainability. Hello Natalie. Hello Libby. So Natalie, you lead the group's purchasing organisation, a network of around 1,300 people in 30 countries, in addition to being a diversity and inclusion ambassador. Can you give us a quick insight into purchasing at Foresha and how you work? Thank you very much Libby for giving me this opportunity and I'm really pleased to share a few insights with you. Uh, just to give you one figure, 60% of our net sales are purchased goods and services provided by very diverse supplier ecosystems. And those ecosystems have huge potentials for value creation. That's why we move purchasing towards more business entrepreneurship. And we aim to capture this potential by working with fresh stakeholders, such as R&D, sales or operations, and our supplier base to build an ecosystem that is collaborative, resilient, and value generating. And through this, together, we can develop sustainable competitiveness and contribute significantly to shared goal, like, for instance, CO2 neutrality. Thus, to support Foresha's ambitions in terms of growth, operating margin, cash and CO2 neutrality, we focus on five levers. Number one, of course, is total customer satisfaction, reinforcing operational excellence in terms of quality and service delivery across our value chain. The number two is resilience including more predictive risk management. And as you can imagine, since the COVID crisis, this has been really stretched. Number three is growth and business obsession with higher competitiveness. Number four, unleashing innovation at all our suppliers. And number five, taking leadership in sustainability. So sustainability, Foresha has an ambitious roadmap to become CO2 neutral by 2050. Why is it important to align Foresha's suppliers with this? Maybe first a quick recap on Foresha's roadmap to CO2 neutrality with the two intermediate steps we have. By 2025, we want to be CO2 neutral in operations. And by 2030, be CO2 neutral for the controlled emissions. So that means including our purchased goods and services, the so-called SCOP3. And the emissions of uh, purchased goods and services weights more than, again, my magic figure, 60% of total fresh emissions. So if we want to be neutral in controlled emissions by 2030, onboarding our suppliers is a must. Sustainability is not completely new. It's already in focus since 2012 with our Buy Beyond program based on Ecovadis assessment and now mandatory for all our suppliers. It covers four axes protecting the environment, respecting human and labor rights, ethical business conduct, and sharing best practices across the group's global supply chain. I'm really proud that this sustainable purchasing approach has been recognized by an award in 2020. But now we need to accelerate the momentum to reach the CO2 neutrality. Right, well, thanks for the expanding that. How, in actual terms, have you embarked suppliers on this CO2 neutral journey with Foresha? First, essential is sharing our vision and goals in a transparent and timely manner with all our suppliers. And we began that journey together with them in October 2019 during our supplier convention. We followed this with two webcasts with our whole supplier base, one in April 2020 during the full lockdown and the second one in December when we set out for Asia's roadmap for CO2 neutrality. We will continue this, it's an ongoing uh, journey, digging into more concrete uh, actions through step-by-step individual discussion with suppliers, looking for their commitment, of course, to work actively on their actions and roadmap towards CO2 footprint reduction. And last autumn, you may remember that we launched Foresia Supplier Council with a few of our strategic suppliers. And we focused one of our sessions on CO2 neutrality and decided to launch working groups with our internal experts to focus, for instance, on uh, sharing best practices in our respective plants to use less or exploring alternative materials. Maybe you can give us some more examples of how you've been doing this. 
Well, we have plenty of examples as uh, we, we work in many different uh, directions covering using less, using better or using longer. But uh, j just few few things uh, which are really uh, uh, drastic in terms of impact, greener uh, manufacturing processes, especially for steel, which is our biggest CO2 um, contributor, redesigning uh, some of our products with lightweighting initiatives, for instance, for plastic parts, increasing the use of recycled content, targeting 40% by 2025 for new parts, or using alternative biomaterials, and for instance, Forestia has worked for several years with an agricultural uh, cooperative in France on hemp-based biomaterials for the Nafiline range, which is increasingly adopted by OEMs as a sustainable and lightweight material for interior parts. But last but not least, reducing our transport impact by working with few experts on flows, switching them to gas instead of fuel, or preparing some pilots with hydrogen. And all those points now are gradually embedded into our request for quotations to accelerate the progress in our future programs. And we also customized an existing cost modeling tool into a CO2 one to re better monitor the environment uh, impact and the life cycle analysis of purchase parts so that we can drive together with our supplies improvement. Natalie, many thanks for talking to us today. Uh, about Foresia, its suppliers and sustainability actions. Have you any final thoughts to share in conclusion? Well, I'm pretty sure you understood that Foresia ambitions uh, for CO2 neutrality can only be uh, reached if its extended ecosystem, so including all suppliers, share the same ambition. And we will achieve it by being a partner of choice for our suppliers. But the challenge is really motivating and creating a strong sense of purpose both at our uh, internal teams and at our suppliers. The energy and enthusiasm they all demonstrate to move forward is really awesome. And I'm very grateful for it. A very exciting journey indeed. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you to you, Libby. That was Natalie Saint-Martin, Purchasing Vice President for Foresia Group. You can find Foresia in conversation on our website, foresia.com, and subscribe on Apple Podcast. Join us again next time.